Gary Neville and Tony Adams, they are just hailing Ghana's Thomas Tepate. They are just hailing him. They are just hailing Thomas Tepate. All because of the performance against my United. Not just my United, but their last few games at Arsenal Bono. Gary Neville believes that Pate is the most important player in this current Arsenal team. He thinks without Thomas Tepate, Arsenal will not succeed. The same way Tony Adams, who is also a former player of Arsenal, thinks that or he believes that Thomas Tepate is currently the best player in the Premier League. I mean, that can be argued, but he believes that Thomas Tepate is the best player in the Premier League. Let me know if you agree with Tony Adams. Is Thomas Tepate currently the best player in the Premier League? Now, let's go on to what they actually, what Gary Neville actually said about Thomas Tepate. You know, Gary Neville is a pundit on Sky Sports, and after the game against United, they, were, they won the game by three goes to two, no? Gary Neville said he has now realized that Gabriel Jesus is not the most important player for Arsenal. See, before now, just say, oh, Gabriel Jesus was the most important player for Arsenal. But after saying, Edin Ketia, every place soon is scoring goals, a lot of goals for Arsenal. No? Pate is now the most important player for Arsenal. Simply because if you look at the people or players who can replace Pate, we have Lukonga and then El Nani. You know? These two players, the quality they have and cannot be compared to what Thomas Te Pate has. What Pate, what Pate gives to Arsenal, no? these two players will not give the same to Arsenal. So the thing is that Pate is the glue. He calls him the glue of Arsenal. He's the one who is able to link the defenders and the attackers. He thinks that what he's doing for Arsenal, no? no player in the Arsenal team can do it. That I agree. What Pate is doing for Arsenal, I mean, that job he's doing the metaphor, no? El Nani cannot do that. The same way Lukonga cannot do the same for Arsenal because he is so important to Arsenal. Remember, say Arsenal versus Man United in the first leg. You no, know, Arsenal lost the game by three goals to one. But but, but that game, Pate did not play because he had, he was injured. Pate did not play. It's Arsenal lose that game. But this time around, Pate was present and Arsenal won the game. He is so important to the teams, according to Gary Neville. You no, know, so Pate and Mubia, Arsenal will not. He doesn't think Arsenal will go ahead to win the league. He doesn't think Arsenal can go ahead. And win the league. I don't know if that is true or not. According to you, let me know what you think about what Gary Neville said. Will Arsenal win the league if Partey should be injured? So Partey could press his CR. Will Arsenal go ahead and win the league? Partey has been very, very consistent for Arsenal post the World Cup because especially even this season, Partey has not been injured a lot as compared to the first and his first two seasons at Arsenal where there are a couple of injuries. But this season, Partey has remained fit, which is good. Partey has remained fit, which is very good. And that has also contributed to the way Arsenal are playing very, very well this season. Now, let's go and read what uh, Gary Neville said exactly concerning Thomas Tepate. This is what he said. We had a discussion about which player would you take out from the Arsenal team and would do them damage. And I probably would have said Gabriel Jesus. But Edin Ketia has been unbelievable. If I look at them, I would say Partey. Having watched three games since... Christmas, I would say, if he was out, Arsenal would struggle. In these three games I've watched, I feel he is holding them together. He is the glue between the defense and the attack. This is what Gary Neville said. Pate is the glue between the defense and the attack. Without Pate, Arsenal will struggle. Without Thomas Tepate, Pate, Arsenal will struggle. You can mention names like Martin Odegaard, who's also being who is also doing a very, very beautiful job at Arsenal, but he thinks Partey is the most important player currently at Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus, like he said, Gabriel Jesus, who has been replaced beautifully by Edin Ketia, he's scoring goals, but Thomas Tepate cannot be replaced at Arsenal. Thomas Tepate cannot be replaced at Arsenal at this moment. The bench plays no more, those, the two players no more will not do the same job that Partey is doing at Arsenal. I cannot agree, yes, Partey is doing well. No one can take that away from you. Now, let's go to what Tony Adams said. Tony Adams compared Thomas Tepate to the likes of Petit and also Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira and Petit used to play for Arsenal in the same position. And he thinks that, yes, the quality now Partey is showing Arsenal is the same as what Patrick Vieira and then Petit used to have for Arsenal. Partey is going, Partey is flying right now. Partey is flying right now. Currently, you can say that he's the best CDM in the Premier League. You can argue. You can mention Wodri, you can mention Casemiro, but Partey currently is the best CDM in the English Premier League right now. So I say, 
that's not like the um, he didn't just say so he's he plays like Vieira and Petit. Tony Adams say Pate is the best player in the Premier League right now. Pate is the best player in the Premier League right now. I don't know if that is true, but that one yeah, uh, same with Kakrao, but I don't think Pate is the best player in the Premier League right now. You can mention of Ellie Haaland, okay, but anyway, Obian Adventure, Obian Adventure. So yeah, Petit thinks, and I said Tony Adams, Pate is the best player, Pate is the best player in the Premier League. The same way Gary Neville thinks that uh, without Pate, Arsenal cannot be successful. In other news, yesterday Kudus Mohamed came on. In the second half to score the equalizer for Ayas. He came out in the 60 minutes and then 10 minutes after that he scored the equalizer for Ayas. Anyway, the game ended 1-1. After that game now, their coach, Ayas coach in Africa was sacked. And I'm sure said this sack no Kudus will be very happy because he's one coach and now he doesn't really give Kudus Mohamed the chances that he needs. He doesn't give he doesn't really give him a lot of playing time. Even though whenever he plays no he is very very productive but he mostly spends some time on the bench. So I'm sure say it's Kudus Mohamed We'll be very, very happy to say Alfred has been sacked. Now, let's also talk about Inaki Williams. Yesterday in the Copa de Rey, a little Beba versus Valencia. A little Beba won the game by three goals to one. And Inaki Williams, he did not score, but he provided two assists. One of which went to his own younger brother, Nico Williams. So, guys, our boys are doing well. Kudus Mohamed is still scoring. Inaki Williams also doing a very, very good job at a little Beba. Let me know what you think about everything I've said today. What do you think? And by the comments now, Gary Neville, Eka Fowl, Thomas Taipate, and also Tony Adams say uh, Pate is the best player in the Premier League. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.